All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> Icon is passed. An icon <coughs> in the professional wrestling world. Uh, age 81, the Iron Sheik has passed on. So it was his actual name was Hasin Kashra Ali Vizeri. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's right or not. Well, I'm just going to s- play it safe and say you're probably butchering it, but I think probably. you did a nice job pronouncing it. Uh, but it's, for the it's most part, people right. knew him as, uh, as Kosroff. Okay. Kosroff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kosroff, but a lot of people just called him Kosroff. Okay. He was born in Iran where he first began his wrestling career. And he grew into prominence in the U.S. in the, in the 80s as one of the greatest villains in sports entertainment. History. Best so recognized in, for his, go ahead, please. In, real quick, in Iran, he was uh, he was the uh, personal personal bodyguard for the Ayatollah uh, Khamenei, and when he, I think the, the Ayatollah was assassinated or something like that, but like he feared for his life, and that's when he hightailed it to America to you know to get away from being killed himself. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Uh, poor man battled substance abuse over time, uh, but he got himself clean. He was inducted to the uh, Wrestling Hall of Fame, the WWE Hall of Fame in 2005, and the NWA Hall of Fame in 2008. Uh, he was married. He had two, two children, two daughters, and five grandchildren he survived by. One of the bigger stories um, was towards... One of the, at the end of his first run with the WWF at the time, uh, he was a he was pulled over by the police in I think Georgia, uh, mm-hmm. and he, they had found cocaine and marijuana on said person. But the bigger scandal, because you got to think this was the eighties, he was writing with hacksaw Jim Duggan, and at the time they were, you know. Hacksaw was USA, USA, and <laughs> and and the the Iron Sheik was you know the you know notorious Iranian bad guy. So like for those two, it wasn't even like they didn't get fired honestly for the drugs that was found. They got fired for getting caught breaking kayfabe. Uh, you know, in in kayfabe is uh, the. The storytelling part. Yeah, the characters, yeah. Yeah. And back then, Hmm. you didn't, you know, the business wasn't going to, was not going to stand for people knowing that it was fake Hmm. or staged or, you know, predetermined, however you want to put it. Um, Hmm. So when they got caught with the these two big, giant, feuding, you know, guys in the same car (laughs) getting fucked up driving down the road, that's what got them in trouble. He ultimately mm-hmm. did end up coming back later um, in different incarnations himself, but then in different different characters here and there. But the dude's strength was insane. He would have these, um, they were almost like bowling pins, but they were like heavy weighted bowling pins. And he would do this like flip around his head. And like the power that this guy had was just ridiculous. Even at like in his 50s, he was doing that shit. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I remember uh, them all like, battling Hulk Hogan and stuff at the in the eighties. That was always like a huge, a huge thing, right? Didn't he? <laughs> didn't he? Didn't he fight Hulk Hogan? What, what part did I cut out at? <laughs> uh, you, you're talking about the pins. Yeah, you're breaking. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because you if, 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 your if thought, Austin came back and you were in the middle. No, no. It's, I'm, I'm saying it's just my my action cut out. They're just it was okay. Fucking, oh. Okay, but all I'm saying was all of these bigger guys like Hulk and stuff like couldn't do what he was doing. Like they couldn't whip them around their head, and it and it was a it was a Iranian strength exercise that he was doing with these. Hmm. I mean, the guy was powerful, and from what they say, is one of the nicest guys you'll meet, or you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's very sad. We lost a uh, a giant in the wrestling world. 
I, for a while there too, he was uh, he would make appearances on the Howard Stern show. It was pretty funny oh, yeah. as well. They used to have him on, and yeah, he would do the character and stuff like that. It was that was pretty good. You know, he was back, quite the but... per- the personality on Twitter as well. After oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> always just constantly shit talking and just saying you. weird I'd weird fuck shit. Fuck you in the ass and make you humble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make you humble, calling everybody yeah. a jabroni and bubba. Yeah, jabroni yeah. bubba. <laughs> that that jabroni Hulk Hogan. I get down and I break his leg and I fuck him in the ass and make him humble. <laughs> you got a problem, Jaboni? I fuck you in the ass and make you humble. Yes. Very good. Yeah, it's a, it was a, definitely a character of its time. I don't know that we would see a modern <laughs> Iron Sheik. Yeah. They, t- they tried one. They they tried one one time after that. I mean, they tried I... you know, multiple. Days, but it was probably in the uh, mid two thousands, right? And okay. They they had this guy Hussein something or another, but he actually wasn't even Iranian. He was actually an Italian guy from Detroit, but they <laughs> they were portraying him as Middle Eastern. <laughs> and the problem was they did this they did this bit where Undertaker tombstoned him and you know knocked him out and he's dead. And all of these hooded, black hooded figures, not like druid Undertaker druid figures, like black hooded terrorist like figures like mm. picked him up and carried him out like a martyr type thing mm, jesus and as that was airing it was pre taped and as it was airing there was terrorist bombings in uh in england ha- happened that day uh, so they caught a lot of flack for that and oddly enough nobody ever talked about it again it just mm. disappeared yep but yep. you, yeah, like you said, you couldn't do Iron Sheik. And I know we we can save this for the main thing. We we, we should. I I will save this. Yeah. Let's just say, as in this memoriam, um, he for me he was you know bigger than life. Uh, there there you can't have a great good guy like Hulk Hogan if he mm-hmm. doesn't defeat the the bad guy. Right. That is Batman Iron needs Sheik. the Joker. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. yep. Very good. Well, that'll be our main topic this evening. Is uh, in honor of the Iron. What kind of racist on. bad guys would we make? If we That's guess? right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about our favorite uh, wrestling villains. Heels, of all time. Brian. Wrestling yes. heels. Heels. Okay. Okay. We talked about favorite wrestlers on prior episodes, but that, we didn't focus on villains necessarily. Right. So heels. Excuse me. So we're going to focus on that. This evening in our main segment. Team with Convincing Idiots, Brian and Nick here. Like and subscribe.